Hey girl, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time seeing moi on your screen, then my name is Diamond Mind. If you're not new here and you know exactly who the girl is, hey girl, welcome. So glad that you could join me today for a video. But it's a different type of video that you guys haven't seen in some years. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how I beat my face down. The natural way okay <laughs> I am NOT a drastic over-the-top makeup person but you guys have been asking me for like a year plus to do a makeup routine I felt like it was so basic it was no need to without further ado let's go ahead and jump into today's beat down look you guys have been asking for like a makeup routine or foundation routine girl i'm real basic when it comes to the look so i'm just going to share with you guys the products i've been using um the things that work for my super duper oily skin when i say i got oily skin like i believe i have the most oiliest skin in the entire world as dramatic as that seems it is the truth like girl my eyelids get oily my eyebrows my lip my girl my whole entire face is like a fucking grease bucket just waiting to be fried when i go outside in the sun literally okay so i'm gonna be using this one size secure the blur um makeup primer and normally when it comes to like priming my skin i just only use it like in the areas that i crease the most at which is like my smile lines and like right here that's where i crease the most um and so that's where i put it my estee lauder double wear foundation i am in the color 5w2 i'm so happy i picked up this foundation because it is so beautiful and it lasts like literally all day this is super dirty. I'm using a beauty blender. I used this yesterday. I don't have a clean one that's brand new with me, but um, I'm gonna be going in with the Urban Decay um, All Nighter Spray. I'm just gonna spray the back and I'm just going to tap the foundation in. You use a brush for this part because if I use a beauty blender, I feel like it messes up my brows. So um, I'm gonna go in with um, the Fenty Beauty Foundation Brush, and I'm going to use that to apply the foundation like on my forehead. And like I said, this helps me not mess up my brows and also make sure um, my foundation is blended into my skin and so I take the foundation and I go over my eyelid too. See how it goes really well <clears throat> into my skin. So next I'm going to move on to concealing. Uh, this is the Born This Way Concealer and I am in the color Warm Sand and I use this as a highlighting color. to start on the outside first and then work my way inward. Now that I got that done, I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hill. Um, this is a foundation stick. This is in the color Walnut. And I'm just going to put a little line right there. Put a line right there. This helps blend out. And it just helps kind of define your cheeks. I should use a different brush, but I don't have it. So I wouldn't use this type of fluffy brush, honestly. But it's the only brush I have near me right now. So this is what I'm going to use. Next, I'm going to go in with the Laura Mercier. This is the uh, setting powder. This is in the color Translucent Honey. Because I am oily, I do let my powder sit a little bit longer compared to a skin, compared to dry skin. Um, just because I know my skin is going to produce oil like before I even get to the finishing points. 
And I do this very lightly to contour my nose. I probably did a little bit too much, but it'll be okay. I'm gonna be using, what is this, a Sigma P86. I'm gonna use this to blend out my nose contour. With using that same um, translucent powder, and I'm gonna use a very light, feather-like, um, brush and I'm going to just apply this directly on top of my eyebrows as I've already explained I have super duper oily skin so I need my face to be matte to the max I've been using this new foundation which is the turn up the base I'm in the color medium dark I've also been using a sponge to apply my face powders just because I like how it sits on my skin compared to like the dusting part so I'm And then lastly, what I do is I go back in the same color that I bronzed my cheeks with or I contoured my cheeks with. I go in with a eyeshadow brush and I just go right on top of my eyelid and I also go down my nose. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with the one size point made eyeliner. I've been trying to find a really good eyeliner that stays and so far this one works really good. For my lips, <laughs> evidently I love this a lot and I'm really low to the point where I do need to go get um, another one of these. This is MAC Cork. I'm gonna go in with one of my favorites, which is Matte Cream Cup. I'm gonna go on top with Myth. Dress to Dazzle. This is like my favorite lip gloss. If I'm ever wearing a lip gloss, it is this. This is my little go-to look when it comes to um, doing like my whole makeup routine. I'm gonna go ahead and do my hair and then I'll be back, which I probably should've did before, but girl, sometimes life just doesn't work out that way. All right, so this is the final look. Looks familiar, right? This is my simple go-to makeup routine. Like I said, I'm pretty plain. I don't do a whole lot, but you guys been asking for like literally almost a year for me to do a video on my makeup routine. So here you are. Okay, hope you enjoy the beat down. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little makeup routine. Uh, if you did, please leave below in the comment section that you liked it. Um, if there's any products that you would recommend that I try, please leave, please leave that below in the comment section as well. And of course, if you like this video, please thumbs up this video. And thank you so much for watching. I'll catch y'all on the next video.